She's fired for sleeping in the job. here this morning. It's about 10 o'clock. I got out late this morning. Probably walked in about 8 o'clock. I went out Saturday for the first day. And I'll tell you what, it turned out to be a disaster Saturday morning for opening day archery here in PA. That spot where I set up the mock scrapes I had two trees picked out for my buddy and I. We walked in about 4 a.m. in the morning. It took about 45 minutes to get in. I made it to my tree. I had a bunch of coyotes going off about 100 yards north of us, and they were just going crazy. Of course, there was a full moon the night before, so I'm wondering if that had something to do with it. Put my tree stand, I have a lone wolf tree stand that put it on the ground, separated my bag, put the tree stand on tree. I figured I better hustle because those coyotes are going crazy. They're probably pushing the deer all over the place. So I wanted to get up in my tree as quick as I could. I made it up about 15 feet. And right beside this tree I was climbing was a conifer. There's branches all over the place. So as I'm working my way up the tree, I'm moving branches out of my way. And on a lone wolf tree stand, when you pull the bracket from the platform, you stick your feet in into the wedges and pull your bottom up as you go. Well, something didn't feel right. I couldn't get my toes all the way into the the grooves of the tree stand and pull it up. I kept going anyway. I made it about 15 feet up into the tree and the bottom of the stand collapsed. Of course I had it attached to the seat with, with uh, plastic clips but they were stretched out about five feet so when that bottom collapsed out from under me I was hanging on for dear life. I couldn't reach the bottom to pull it up to get it readjusted. So there I hung off the top of my, off of the seat of my tree stand. I thought about working my way down where the platform was hanging against the tree, maybe hanging off of that and jumping, but it was still like 12 feet. I got my arms up on the seat. I put my head down and I thought to myself, man, this whole day is going to be ruined. I don't want to do this, but I looked back and I could see my buddy. He's maybe 60 or 70 yards behind me. And I could see his red light starting to go up the tree. And I, I yelled, run, I need you. I need you right now. Pretty soon you could hear his footsteps coming and he's hauling ass over to my tree. He's got a bright white light on. Comes over to the bottom of my tree, looks up, and I'm just high enough that he can't reach the bottom of my stand. So he had to run all the way back to the tree where his tree stand was. Take his stand off the tree grabbed his gear and ran back over to my tree, set up on my tree and come up below me. And we got the bottom platform worked out. Anyway, so he started working his way back over to his tree, carrying his gear back over. And I could see his light moving all over the place. I thought, great, something's not right. 
About 10 minutes later, he walks back over to me with all his gear, no bow in his hand. He says, dude, I can't find my bow. I could tell he wasn't very happy. He said, well, since I can't find my bow, I'm going to sit underneath your tree till daylight. That way I don't blow the whole morning. Within, I'd say, 10 minutes, he ended up passing out. He was snoring for about an hour and a half. About 7 o'clock, daylight, and gets up. Walks about 60, 70 yards to the east and comes walking back with all his gear and says, Dude, I still can't find my bow. And I remember when I was hanging in the tree stand and turned around to look to see where he was before I yelled for him to come help me. He was straight east. So I told him, I said, Stand at my tree and go straight east. And that's what he did. Walked straight east, about 60 yards, and there lay his bow. So he brought all his gear back over to my tree again and just sat up in a tree right next to me about 10 feet. What a morning that was. By then it was probably about 8 o'clock. So we sat there till about lunchtime. I saw one doe. It's 11 o'clock now. Oh, we're gonna tough it out, stay in here for a little while longer. See what happens. Well, I had that dough just come up, up along this freshwater spring right here, up through. I'm pretty sure the bucks are bedding up here. Probably 100 or 200 yards. So we're gonna stick it out for a little bit, see what happens. I decided to get down, push up the mountain a little bit further along some rub lines, some heavy trails. Maybe another hundred yards. And I set up again. On the way up to the next spot that I wanted to sit, I was passing my trail camera, so I figured I'd stop, swap the cards out. I did that, and I walked up a little further, climbed the tree maybe about eight feet. Pretty close to some real thick willows and brush. Well, I got a few more hours left of daylight. And those coyotes are relentless today, man. I got myself settled in my second spot, which I think is a decent spot. But with those coyotes ripping around all day, I don't know, man. I'm starting to have some doubts here tonight. Got myself set up in three different rub lines. Got a good rub line there. Right in front of me, there's a rub line right here, you can see, a heavy trail, and over here in front of me, there's another heavy trail and a rub line, and they're all going up into the thick laurel, which is I think where they're bedding. Anyway, so I'm out for the second day. There's a tree I hunted the first day. There's a mock scrape and a camera up there as well. 
and then a hundred, another hundred yards south is a few sets of rub lines, some heavy trails, and I also have a camera up there. I had three bucks on both those cameras. Six pointer, a nice eight, and a bigger ten pointer. And I'm just racking my brain trying to figure this out. I'm thinking about sitting here for a little bit and then working my way up. Push my way up the mountain. I gotta know if they're bedding up there, if they're bedding on the bottom here. And the only way I'm gonna know at this point, without wasting another week moving cameras and stuff, I'm just gonna have to push in and figure it out. So we'll see what happens.